bashing on the door. I'm trying to film it. What is my life? Did we do? <laughs> In the universe. Oh, I need my British accent back on. <laughs> Please, Don't leave me. Don't leave me now. Please don't leave me now. Susan, no. No, no, you can't. What's up, guys? It's DJ Reality, and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be acting out scenes from the random plot generator, which is linked below. I hope you guys enjoy. Please, Susan. Don't leave me. I'm sorry, Boris, but... I'm looking for a person a bit more brave. Somebody who faces his fears head on instead of running away. I am such a person. I'm sorry, Boris, but I just don't feel excited by this relationship anymore. Goodness, John, is everything okay? I'm afraid not. What is it? Don't keep me in suspense. It's an alien. I saw an evil alien eat a bunch of babies. Defenseless babies? Yes, defenseless babies. Blumenek, John, we've got to do something. I agree, but I wouldn't know where to start. You can start by telling me where this happened. I was... <sighs> focus, John, focus. Where did it happen? Trafalgar Square, London. That's right, Trafalgar Square, London. Any alien? That's Molly Randall. Who's Molly Randall? Who's Molly Randall? Who's Molly Randall? Only the most sinister alien in the universe. Blinking knickers, Boris. We're gonna need some help if we're gonna stop the most sinister alien in the universe. You can say that again. Blinking knickers, Boris. We're gonna need some help if we're gonna stop the most sinister alien in the universe. I'm going to need nets. Lots of nets. Boris Slaughter. We meet again. You've met? Yes. It was a long, long time ago. Would you like a peppermint? I don't know. You look kind of sinister. Me? No. I'm not sinister. I'm the least sinister alien in the world. You're an alien? You were a coward then, and you are a coward now. You ran away? I was a young child. What was I supposed to do? I may have run away from you then, but I won't run away from you now. <laughs> I mean, I am running away from you, but I'll be back with nets. I'm not scared of you. You should be. I feel sure I left my net somewhere around here. Are you sure? It does seem like an odd place to keep deadly nets. You know nothing, John Blackman. We've been searching for ages. I really don't think they're here. Looking for something. Crikey, Boris. She's got your nets. Tell me something I don't know. The Earth's circumference at the equator is around 40,075 kilometers. I knew that already. I pickle my earwax and keep it in a jar under my bed. Dude. Prepare to die, you sinister potato. No, please. All I did was eat a bunch of babies. I cannot tolerate that kind of behavior. Those babies were defenseless. Well now, they have a defender. That's me, Boris Slaughterhouse, defender of innocent babies. Don't hurt me, please. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't use these nets on you right away. Because, Boris, I'm your mother. No, you're not. Ah, well, had to be worth a try. But who's their mommy now, eh? Huh? Ah! Did she just faint? 
I think so. Well, that's disappointing. I was rather hoping for a more dramatic conclusion involving my deadly nets. Be careful, Boris. It could be a trick. No, it's not a trick. It appears that, it seems that Molly Randall is dead. What? Yes, it appears that I scared her to death. So your nets did save the day after all. Is it true? Did you kill the sinister alien? Susan, how long have you been? Long enough. Then the babies are safe? It does seem that way. You're their hero. There's no need to bow, I seek no worship. The knowledge that Molly Randall will never eat babies ever again is enough for me. You are humble as well as brave. I think they want you to have it as a symbol of their gratitude. I couldn't possibly. Well, if you insist. Thank you. Does this mean you want me back? Oh, Boris, of course I want you back. Well, you can't have me. What? You had no faith in me. You had to see me scare an alien to death before you would believe in me. I don't want a lover like that. But please leave. I want to spend time with the one person who stayed with me through thick and thin, my best friend John. But I'm sorry, Susan, but I think you should skedaddle. Boris, you heard the gentleman. Now be off with you. Skedaddle. Shoo. <sighs> Did you mean that? You know, that I'm your best friend? Of course you are. When I said I'd pickle my earwax and keep it in a jar under my bed, you know I was just trying to distract the alien, don't you? I would have become a professor if it wasn't for Jack. We'd been dating for about six months at that point. Don't ask me how. It was the morning of my interview and I'd put on a nice dress, organized everything into my folder, and I was heading out the door when Jack asked, Are you ready to go? Yes, I've been preparing my whole life for this. Okay, you don't want to role play or something? I could be you, and you could be the interviewer. Jack, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna be late already. Ugh, fine. Good luck. I'll support you, whatever happens. I arrived five minutes early, so I took a seat in the waiting room. Nobody came for quite some time, so I called the interviewer, and I was really confused because they seemed to be in a bad mood. They finally let me in, and I shook their hands, sat down and was ready to start the interview when I heard a knock on the door. The interviewer got up to go see who it was. Hey girl, told you I'd be here to support you. The door opened and behind was Jack holding a bouquet of flowers. Jack, what are you doing? Are you insane? Did you get the job? It's safe to say no. She showed up an hour late and they barely even started with the interview when you showed up. Well, with daylight savings time ending and all, I think you should give her another chance. I showed up right on time. Daily savings time doesn't end until next week. But why did I turn the clocks back yesterday then? Yeah, Jack. Why did you do that? That's what I'm saying. It's pretty obvious that ended our relationship. But it's not all bad because after that experience, I became a dating coach, which is really just a professor that teaches people about their relationship. Or at least that's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> I'm Trafford, I'm a student from Rochdale, and I'm delighted, delighted, to be a part of the final of the Bake Off. The name's Destiny, and it is my destiny to win this competition today. I'm Flynn, I'm actually from Ireland. Uh, I had some Australian parents though, so. Hey bakers, welcome back to the tent. Today's showstopper is going to be insane. Our bakers are being challenged to make something that represents a significant moment in their life. And it's gonna be important that they don't omit any of their secret ingredients. Let's go see how they're doing. Miss Order Bread's just proven. It's going well. I think it'd be a good one. I'm just keeping an eye on my pancake. Can't lose sight of it, you know what I'm saying? Looking good. I can't do this anymore. I, I, it just, this is pointless. I'm starting over. I'm 
amidst all this panic, you only have one minute left, bakers. One minute left. made for you some soda bread. It was the first thing I ever baked and it really uh, gave me my passion for baking. So I hope you enjoy. What a wonderful presentation and it actually tastes amazing. Yes and I love the story behind it all. Today I made for you some pound cake. It reminds me of when I won the lottery. It was a pivotal point in my life so have fun eating. Looks and tastes wonderful. Exactly. I completely agree. I can't do this. I made a car. Sorry, but I, I don't really understand what's going on here. I honestly don't even think it looks edible. Well, I'll try some. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Son, wake up. Wake up, son. Wake up. The final of the Bake Off is today. No. My son is dead! Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. If you like this type of content, comment down below and let me know what y'all think. And I'll see you next week with another video. Oh, bye! Ireland. 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 I've never done accents before. I'm from Ireland. My name's Flynn. My name's Flynn. I'm from Ireland. Ireland. Ireland.